Hello all, this video is on understanding the specifications and testing of MOSFETs, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is a voltage control device. As you know, a bipolar transistor is a current control device. A small current at base gives a large amplified collector current. The terminals are base, collector and emitter and there are two types NPN and PNP. Next comes the JFETs junction field effect transistors which is a voltage control device a transistor is a current control this FET is a voltage control so it has got a very high input impedance and low power consumption and there are N type and P types the terminals are gate drain and source and uh, this type of uh, JFETs or only depletion types which means when zero volt is at the gate of uh, JFET it operates and current flows from drain to source MOSFETs we can say uh, as an advanced type of JFETs MOSFETs are with the insulated gate and the terminals are gate drain and source and it can work uh, it comes in depletion as well as enhancement type these enhancement mosfets conduct only when there is a gate voltage but depletion types conduct even if the gate voltage is zero so these mosfets offer a very high input impedance as compared to the jfets this is a constructional diagram of n channel mosfet the top one is the depletion type bottom one is the enhancement type as you can see depletion type has a permanent channel between source and drain and in enhancement type this uh, channel is missing this channel is formed only when there is a gate voltage so this enhancement type MOSFETs have ultra fast switching capability with high current conduction that is it can handle huge uh, drain current there are two types of MOSFETs N channel and P channel the top one is the N channel and the bottom one is the P channel and you can see the in between broken line which in indicates it is enhancement type there is a no channel between source and drain it is formed only when there is a gate voltage so this gate is insulated uh, so it, uh, it is also called insulated gate fit let us see the famous uh, uh, MOSFETs in market IRFZ44 it has got a drain source voltage of 60 volt and it can handle 50 ampere and the RDS on resistance is as low as 28 milliohms. There is also IRF 540, 100 volt and uh, 33 amps, 55 NF06, 60 volt and 50 ampere. And this is IRF 460, this is old one. It, uh, it can handle huge voltage. And the current is 18 volt. All these are used in inverters. And this is the P channel, IRF 9530. It can handle 100 volt and 12 ampere. All these MOSFETs have a VGS that is a gate to source voltage of 10 volt. So up to 10 volt you can apply to gate. Now let us see how to test the MOSFET. Uh, the top one is the end channel. Mostly these enhanced MOSFETs have internal diode like this. So, uh, P channel also has internal diode and end channel also has internal diode. In end channel the internal diode anode is at source and in P channel anode is at drain. Now let us use this multimeter. Let us keep the multimeter at a diode range. That is a continuity range. And let us test the MOSFET. Uh, this is the end channel MOSFET. IRF Z44. The terminals are gate, drain and source. First one is uh, gate. Center one is uh, drain. And the last one is source. Most of the MOSFETs have this uh, type of pins. GDS. Even P channel. Uh, pins are like that GDS and the body is always drain the MOSFET body body is always drain so you can connect a good heat, heat sink while it is handling huge current now let us use the multimeter and uh, test the internal diode as you can see the internal diode anode is at source and uh, cathode is at drain so it is uh, for forward bias you have to keep the multimeter like this positive terminal at source and the negative terminal at drain and you can see the diode is conducting forward bias 500 millivolt it is dropping so by testing the diode you can uh, uh, verify whether the MOSFET is okay or not if you reverse the probe that is negative at source and positive at drain there will be no continuity 
and uh, always the drain is uh, body so the center pin will show a continuity between body that is the heat sink in this way you can test all other mosfets also uh, let us test this irf p460 the internal diode you keep the positive at the source and the negative at drain it will show the diode is forward uh, biased and when you reverse the probe it will not conduct same way you can test the p channel also in p channel the internal diode anode is a drain so for a forward bias checking the negative probe at source and positive probe at drain the reverse will not will be showing open now let us uh, check the specifications uh, the first one is the gs that is a gate source voltage and uh, it should be uh, it is always uh, 10 volt maximum is 10 volt and the next one is the vgs threshold uh, that is the threshold voltage in this threshold voltage the mosfet will be off when uh, vgs is uh, less than this uh, threshold voltage mosfet is always off and then the id which is the drain current and the most important is rds on which is the drain source on resistance all these mosfets have very low uh, rds that is while conducting it has got a very low rds that is why it can handle huge current this is the data sheet of irf z44 you can see the drain source voltage vds is 55 this is the maximum voltage you can give as a supply uh, between drain and source and the gauge source voltage uh, it is showing plus or minus 20 volt that is the maximum limit the showing practically we will check up or what is the voltage and id that is the drain current it can handle up to maximum of 50 ampere when vgs is 10 volt it can conduct up to maximum of 50 ampere huge current it is this is the uh, current only when vgs is 10 volt in the next page of uh, uh, data sheet the, it shows the electrical characteristics of which the important one is rds on this, that is the drain source resistance when the mosfet is on so when vgs is uh, 10 volt it offers a resistance of uh, 60 milliohms and when vgs is 10 volt it offers a resistance of 20 milliohms it is a very uh, minimum resistance 0 0.02 ohms that is 20 milliohms that is why it is capable of uh, handling huge currents so the RTS uh, on resistance is very important and also the VGS threshold that is a VGS TH it shows minimum is 2 volt and maximum is 4 volt so when VGS is 2 to 4 volt the MOSFET will be in off condition when voltage crosses the threshold voltage that is a VGS voltage crosses 4 volt then the MOSFET starts conducting so practically it will be slightly different that we will test uh, later so the most important is rds and uh, id when the vgs threshold volt voltage is crossed the uh, mosfet will conduct and id will start flowing and uh, the rds will go on decreasing goes on decreasing as rds decreases id will increase the VGS voltage typical voltage is 10 volt for all these MOSFETs there is also TTL level MOSFETs that is different that we are not checking in this video now let us test the mod MOSFET trigger the MOSFET using the multimeter um, place the multimeter in diode range that is a continuity range uh, initially we have tested the internal diode that is by placing the probe at uh, source positive at source and negative at drain it is conducting that is the diode now let us trigger the gate using the uh, voltage that is coming out from the multimeter so it shows uh, a threshold vgs threshold voltage is 2 to 4 so uh, between this voltage the mosfet will not be on but practically uh, it will be uh, less voltage also it will trigger now let us see keep the negative probe at source and at uh, with respect to negative uh, uh, at source the drain will show no resistance now trigger the gate place the positive probe at the gate 
so a voltage from multimeter that is a, it is in the diode range so approximately 3.3 volt will be applied at gate now the mosfet is conducting now check the resistance between drain and source it is varying as there is a uh, at vgs between the gate and source there is a capacitance that variation is there it is conducting and then it is going to off state same way you can check the p channel also place the probe positive at uh, source and uh, negative or drain it will show no resistance now let us use a 9 volt multimeter and we will trigger and uh, trigger and test a, an led connected at drain plug in the mosfet at, uh, on the breadboard we will be using this 9 volt uh, multimeter and a cap uh, plug the positive terminal to the top rail and uh, negative terminal to the bottom rail so drain will be connecting on LED through a resistor anode of LED to 9 volt and uh, cathode to drain through a 470 ohms resistor current limiting resistor so the long lead is anode connected to 9 volt positive and the short lead to drain through a resistor and the source of uh, MOSFET that is the third pin is connected to the ground that is uh, negative we'll, using, we'll be using a jumper and on the breadboard to connect it to ground and to gate uh, instead of directly connecting to gate we'll be using a 100 ohm resistor as the MOSFET is having some capacitance while touching the MOSFET it is getting triggered if you touch all the pins together it will go off now let us use a male to male wire and touch the positive to gate it is through a resistor so it is switching on gate is triggered and uh, there is a drain source current and LED is on and it will be on permanently till that the capacitance is discharged so even if you take out the wire it will be kept on if you touch the gate terminal to ground the LED will be off that is GS VGS threshold voltage is going to zero now touch the gate terminal to positive LED is on touch it to ground the LED is off so this is how to switch the MOSFET for safety we can use a, a resistor high value 100k resistor between uh, gate and source uh, in high switching conditions this uh, across resistance is a must and uh, input of gate is through a low resistance around 100 ohms this is just for uh, safety of the MOSFET so at the gate threshold voltage as per the uh, characteristics it is minimum 2 and maximum 4 but uh, it is switching on around 3.3 volt now let us use a potentiometer to test this condition this potentiometer has got uh, three legs the center pin is the arm that is a variable point that is connected to the gate so one end of top end is connected to positive that is to 9 volt positive and the bottom end is disconnected to ground and the center arm is connected to gate that is through a another resistor a low 100 ohms resistor so when you vary the pot the gate voltage uh, the voltage applied to the gate is varied from uh, 0 to 9 volt plug in the potentiometer to breadboard the first pin and uh, third pin first pin to top rail that is a 9 volt third pin to ground let us use another uh, male to male jumper wire connect the center one that is the arm to gate already there is a 100 ohm resistor let us connect it after that uh, 100 ohm resistor so when you vary the potentiometer the gate voltage is triggered now there is already voltage that is why the led is switched on now let us use a digital voltmeter like this to measure the gate voltage this digital voltmeter has got three wires one positive wire that is connected to 9 volt positive and negative wire that is connected to ground that yellow wire is the measurement wire that has to be connected to the uh, place where we want to check the voltage that is the gate so directly to the gate point let us connect the yellow wire 
it is uh, showing 3.53 volt that is why the LED is on now let us uh, vary the potentiometer let us start from 0 volt slightly vary it vary it up to 3.2 volt now you can see the LED is slightly glowing that means it has started conducting the uh, drain and source has started conducting so after the 3.3 volt it is fully conducting 3.4 volt so as per the specification it has to switch on only after 4 volt but it is switching on after 3.3 volt itself practically it is less so let us change it again uh, as per the characteristics it is 2 to 4 volt but practically it is switching on at 3.3 volt let us check it again and uh, let us uh, connect the multimeter in ampere meter and uh, put it in at the drain so while measuring ampere the meter should be always in series series so remove one wire at the led and place this multimeter there in ampere position now vary the potentiometer voltage is changing from zero now at 3.2 it has started conducting notice the current uh, that is flowing it has started 0.2 amps id drain current is uh, will start increasing when the r on decreases so when you increase the gate voltage above 4 volt it is fully conducting mosfet is fully conducting and the maximum uh, ampere that is only 13 milliamps for uh, led so MOSFET can handle huge current but only for demo purpose we are showing this uh, small LED current. So this is how to test the uh, MOSFET. So when gate voltage crosses the threshold voltage that is VGSTH then the MOSFET starts conducting the resistance or the on resistant RDS will decrease and the ID that is the current flowing from drain will increase this is the basic principle and operation of MOSFET thank you for watching